Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly create and send an email to a group of people in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Creating a group email that you can reuse to send an email to a number of people is quick to do. This isn't done in Gmail, however. Contact groups for Gmail are actually managed in the Google Contacts app. The easiest way to open Google Contacts from Gmail is to move your mouse pointer to the top right of your Gmail inbox. A number of icons are shown here, but the one we're interested in is the nine dot square, which if I move my mouse over that, you'll see contains our Google Apps. If I click once on that, a panel is then opened that shows all of your available apps from Google. Moving down that panel a little, you'll see an app called Contacts. Clicking on this once will open a new tab in your browser. This is the Google Contacts list for your Gmail account. You can also go to this page directly at the web address shown on screen once you've logged into Google. The link for this site is also shown in the description below. Google Contacts is a tool that every Google user has access to, and it's a single place where you can view and manage all the contact information that you use in Gmail. To create a group email, I need to start by selecting the contacts I want to add to the group. I'll move my mouse pointer over the first one of the contacts I want to add. You'll see that contact is highlighted, and a checkbox appears on the left-hand side of that row. I'm going to click that checkbox to select the contact. I'll use the same method to select a number of other contacts I want to add to my group email. Once done, the next step is to create a group using those contacts. To do that, I'll move to the top right of the Contacts app. There are a number of options shown here, but I'm interested in the small label icon, which if I move my mouse over it, you'll see is called Manage Labels. If I click on that once, a list of existing labels is shown. However, I'll need to add a new label to apply to my new group email. So I'll scroll down that list until I get to the Create Label option. If I click on that once, a new pop-up box is displayed. This asks you to add a name for your new label. This will be the name you'll add into an email when you want to quickly send an email to this group. So make sure you use something you can remember. I'll call mine Newsletter Group. You'll notice I've not used any spaces in the group email name. I have found in the past that these can cause problems when using group emails, so it's best to avoid them. To confirm that email group name and create a new label, I'll click on the blue Save link. Moving to the left-hand panel in the Contacts app, you'll see a new group has now been added to the Labels section. And if I click into that, all of the contacts that I have previously selected are shown. And that's all we need to do in the Google Contacts app. I'm now going to return to Gmail to show you how to use the group email name you've just created. You'll see the Gmail tab is still open in the browser, so I'll just click into that. I'll now click on the Compose Email icon in the top left of the Gmail inbox. A new window then opens. Let's now type in the name of the group email that I've just created. As I start to type, Gmail searches for the distribution list name and suggests it. I'll click on that once to choose it. You'll see that each email address we selected has been added separately and can be deleted or new ones added depending on how you want to tailor the distribution list. One thing to watch out for here is that sometimes it may take a few minutes for Gmail to recognize the contact group you've created. If the email group isn't immediately shown when you start to type, wait for five minutes and try again and eventually it will appear. Check out the email guide shown above if you want to find out how to add or remove contacts from your existing group email list. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.